Hey guys, it's the Metal Blade 5, and welcome to my Let's Play of Shovel Knight! Take no notice of the Plague of Shadows. Yes, an indie game, and believe it or not, this is actually the first indie game that I ever played, but let's just... I'll talk about that later. Let's just start the game. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Now, the tower is unsealed, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Sharpen thy shovel! And we have the first level with this awesome music. So yeah, Shovel Knight is obviously based off of a lot of old um, NES games. Particularly Mega Man, as you'll see later on, but... Yeah, so, you press A to use your shovel, which you can use to attack enemies and dig up spots. You can you press B to jump, and if you hold down when you jump, you do like a Scrooge McDuck style um, shovel dive, which also kills enemies. And you press B right before you hit the enemy, you can jump higher, like in Mario games. And yeah, so, oh shit, I almost fell down the pit. Okay. Head on this way, and since I like this music, I'll let you listen to it for a bit. Okay, I have to cut this short because we have a new mechanic there. That is a checkpoint. If you die, you go back to there. However, you can actually break the checkpoints to get money from them. However, that checkpoint becomes useless. So if you die, you don't go back to that checkpoint, but the one before it, if there are any still left. And we also have spikes. Just like in Mega Man, spikes are instant death. Okay, so next, we have a mini-boss here, this dragon. Which is pretty easy with the shovel dive. And all it does is spit bubbles, which you can just jump, jump off of anyway. There, and you didn't, I don't know if you saw it there, but that dragon also dropped an apple, which heals you. One of many food items that heal you, kind of like in Castlevania. Again, a lot of similarities to 8 big games here. Okay, so now we're going to introduce another mechanic. When you see like a little crack or any odd thing on the wall, if you dig it, it will break and reveal secret passageways. However, here it was required, so it's not very secret. So, oh shit, <laughs> that was stupid of me! I got hit by the enemy! And yes, there is knockback, and there is instances in which it is annoying. So, there's a little secret area over here, I don't want to die! There. So, we head over here. We have a music sheet. Um, we'll get into what these do later, but for now, obviously, they have to do with the music. So, there. So, onward! Oh wait, there was something in the wall. Okay. So yeah, you can dig things out of the wall in which they become little chunks which you can still dig out things out of anyway. So jump, and take care of this ant thing. And onward! Okay. So, um, in all honesty, I actually don't know any of the names of the, en of the enemies in this game, so I apologize for my lack of knowledge on them, but we have these mini dragon things which, like, try to fly towards you. You can also use them to get a little extra height, and I did actually not know those slime enemies could jump towards you. 
Oh, we've got another secret passageway. Here we got a big diamond. I think that's the largest amount of money that you can get. And when you find these little, um, I don't even know what these are actually called, but things you serve food on, you can find like a chicken in there, which heals you back to full health. Like kind of like the roast ham in Castlevania. Got another checkpoint. So bounce over there. And is there anything in here? Okay. There. Climb up the ladder. Okay, I guess I should also mention just quickly. I am playing this on the Wii U. There are slight differences depending on which version of the game you are playing. I'll get to what's, what's exclusive to the Wii U version later on. So we have another secret area over here. There are quite a few secret areas in this game, and we have another music sheet. So just gotta wait for the bubbles to come back. And now we head backwards. Okay, so... Take care of you first. And just climb the ladder. Alright, we've got another se little bit of a secret area here. Oh, and there's a skeleton behind it. And I believe, also, there are some secret areas which they don't have obvious hints to where they are, like here. I know that off by heart because obviously this is the first level. If you head this way, you get treasure chests, and when you find a treasure chest, you get a lot of money from it. So there, and there's also a checkpoint up there, so you drop down. If you're climbing the ladder, if you press the jump button, you can instantly drop down the ladder again, like in Mega Man. And we have another checkpoint. And I believe these dragon enemies are actually more of a nuisance, yes, because they more fly towards you and... Okay. So... Come on. We're actually near the end of this level, obviously since this is the first level it's pretty short. We have another dragon here! This one isn't much harder, honestly. The only difficulty here is just obviously the bombless pits in the middle. Okay. There. And of course some of the money drops down to the bombless pit. So, oh, you dick. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that could happen! You can get the enemies to just walk off the cliff. Okay. So, up here we got more money. Um, you let, um, there. I think if you press A or something, you can just cancel out of the, uh, point of your shovel down in case you need to actually get s something specific. And these slime enemies are hiding in the grass. Okay, there's a diamond here. And more stuff. There's a lot of money you can get in this game. Which is fitting because obviously there's a lot of expensive shit in this game. Okay, so head over here. Oh fuck, I thought it was gonna die there. I'm not, I don't feel comfortable landing on tiny platforms. We get more money. Uh, we have about almost 4,000 gold from the first level. Okay, so back here. So take care of the ants. And this is actually where we're going to be have our first boss battle! I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean coward! Turn back, Shovel Knight! There's nothing here for you anymore! Stand aside, Black Knight! I have no quarrel with you! I must return to the Tower of Fate! Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress! And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. STEAL THY SHOVEL! We have our first boss, Black Knight. Who's just a dark version of, of Shovel Knight. Honestly, since he's the first boss, he's not challenging at all. Although I am getting hit a bit. He does have this attack, which I guess might be his most damaging attack, but... And he does have a projectile, and I'm getting hit a lot from this, actually. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on! He got the first hit in! He does, like, the taunt as well. Oh, shit. I'm almost dead! Oh, thank god. I don't know why I took so much damage there, it's the first boss. Feet accomplished! I'm alive! Yeah, there's also achievements in this game. You get that if you beat a level without dying.
So I have a mini game here where we have this dream where we just have to catch Shield Knight and. No! No, you! I press. Sometimes my natural instinctive of other games is to press A instead of B to jump. So that messed me up a bit. And you can actually dig up the uh, fire. And. Why did I not get an achievement? I know there's an achievement you get for that. Unless you get it from leaving the screen. And we have our world map, which is a reference to Mario 3, but for the rest of this episode, I'm going to be looking at the... No, we're not doing the amiibo shit yet. The village, yeah. Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha! That's no weapon! Just a shovel! You may enter then, and don't forget, press up to talk to everyone! So yeah, do I need to explain there? So, in the village, we have... This guy, the bard. Hail, traveler! I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets! My entire repertoire lays scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me and I shall reward you handsomely. Whoa! You have two music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each! Yep, this is what the, uh, the music sheets are about. And this also allows him to play the different music sheets, depending on the, different, the music of the game. It's basically a sound test. Um, either the, these things we can't do with yet. There's something down there, but I'll save that for another episode. And then we have this area. Now this girl with the hoop! There's an achievement if you can bounce on this a number of times. I've only done it once, because I'm stuck at it. Okay, and I believe actually there is a... Yes, there's a music shield there. I believe you need to jump on this woman with the milk to get up there. Yes. And there's also a church just here. Okay, and we have this really weird old dude. Sean, many travels await you. Don't despair. May each defeat strengthen your resolve. Yep. Another similarity to Mega Man is that with each of the stages, you fight a member of the Order of No Quarter that we heard about. And they're all specific themes. For example, they have Primal Keep, the Lair of King Knight, which we'll be taking on. In the next episode, so next time on Shovel Knight, we are going to go after King Knight as the first member of the Order of N If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know you enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys next time.